Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. Please share and subscribe my channel to get more interesting topic. Thanks. Hi guys, how are you? Today's discussion about the piping isometric. How to read piping isometric drawing before start the piping fabric fabrication work. So this is requested by one of the colleges and one of the my uh, who is uh, viewing my video. Though he is requested to make a video like this. So uh, this is very uh, important subject. Uh, those are uh, starting the piping drawing, piping industry, starting the work, and uh, those are reviewing the piping drawing. This is the very important video. So please, uh, from the starting to end, please see this video. We will go one by one in table. You see, first is piping isometric. What is an isometric drawing? And this uh, engineering people, uh, engineering students are very well known this one. Uh, also the general uh, people also uh, uh, the very well known that isometric drawing. What is this isometric drawing? This is the three B wizard they were. One is the um, side view, one is the front view, one is the plan. So these three view is one together if you see in one view that is called isometric drawing. Then in an isometric drawing is a type of pictorial drawing in which three sides of an object can be seen in one view. So three sides of object can be seen in one view that is called in isometric drawing. It's popular within the process piping industry because it can be laid out and drawn with easy and portrait the object in a realistic view. So it's a very popular in the process piping industry. Then piping. Piping industry is a very critical industry and the piping is a very too many branches are there. So we need to know the realistic view before start of the prefabrication work. So, so many things are calculating at the time of the piping isometric, at the time of piping isometric drawing, the design calculation, the safety factor, so many things are there. So in that case, we need the things to a paper in the portrait you see and portraits the object in a paper in a realistic view when we can see the realistic view that pipe then we can easily understanding this should not be happen this can be happen so that's why the process piping industry the isometric drawing is very popular to check the all this uh, and all these things isometrics are used as we fabrication and soft drawing for piping run fabrication so this is only this is well known used in the soft, soft fabrication also in the when you are doing the installation at the time also piping drawing also need so this is isometric are used as fabrication and soft drawing for pipe run fabrication this is a very simple drawing i just i, I connect uh, collect from my previous project you see isometric drawing it's uh, here from the beginning but i didn't mention here you see the side of the drawing which side so we'll discuss in another video that's why i didn't mention here and so how will how we calculate the how, how we can uh, viewing the side and uh, and uh, and in that basis and the drawing how can we can start from where we can start so you see here in the drawing uh, this is the scaffold launcher means from the here this is the oil neck flange so we'll go one by one in the old neck flange, how many old neck flanges there are, everything is there in the go to, uh, go to the details. But I am giving the, in this drawing, I am giving the general general idea. You see here the scaffold launcher. Scaffold launcher name is 604L001 the scaffold launcher. And it is connecting with the old neck flange. If you go to the old neck flange, there is 25, 17 and 13. And this, where it will be written, this will be written in the bill of materials. So, I will go in the next page in the bill of material. So you see here, how many spool is there? Spool 1, spool 2, spool 3 and spool 4. Means this spool is fabricated at fabrication shop. After that, we this spool, after that this spool, we need to go to the fabric erection area, installation area. At the time installation, we, we joined all this all this software to field well you see here this is the software and software and field well means this will be collect from the soft uh, fabrication shop this will be collect from the fabrication shop up to here and this joint will be done by field well because of the so many things are there if i joint here in the soft welding 
in the fabricator saw then maybe it, it will not be match at site as for the correct angle or as for the correct configuration or for the correct position so that's why we need to know some of the drawing we need to left out for this field joint and you see here this is the uh, this is the uh, old no, next line this is the uh, welding this is uh, this is one weld soft weld this is old OLED. you see here the continuous going it is again older plane this is the plug valve and this is the again weld so 13 17 11 15 17 all will discuss in the uh, in the next you see here it is the elbow here and this is the 16 inch line and you can see here so we'll go in the details in the first page this is how from where it is connecting point a and point b so where it is point a and point b you can see here the old OLED. it is mentioned here point a and it is here mentioned in the point b so point a to point b there is a equalizer line this is called equalizing line so the equalizing line is like this so today we will discuss for particular this drawing you see here So, what is the pipe size on the drawing? How will you know the pipe size on the drawing? You see here is the mention, the spool 3. What is mentioned in spool 3? You see here is mentioned 16 inch, P T P 07 means the pipe size is 16 inch. The pipe size is 16 inch. For this from here to here is the full pipe size is 16 inch. How many joints are on the drawings? You can easily understand joint is, is easily mentioned here is mentioned here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 This 7 joint is 16 inch You see here this is the main line This is the main line So 6 is a 16 inch joint 16 inch the pipe size Joint number and the joint number 8 and 9 for old OLED You see here joint number 8 It's mentioned here FW8 and FW9, this is the two joint is for old OLED. This is for two inch old OLED. So two inch so you can find from the bill of material. So will all this bill of material I will show you show to you. So joint number, how many joint is there? Then here total nine joint is there. One to seven is the north or uh, the 16 inch pipeline joint, and eight and nine is the old OLED joint. So old OLED is two inch into 16 inch. How many prefabricated spools are on the drawing? I already told this is four spools. If there is a green, blue, yellow color, it's mentioned here. SPL1, SPL2, SPL3, SPL4. So four spools are here. So these four spools we need to fabricate it at saw, fabrication saw. After that, we need to send that site for installation. And the type of installation we have to do that is three welding FW04. FW8 and FW9. These three joint we need to do at installation site. We need to do welding at installation site. Now next is what are the pipe fittings are required for this isometric digger? How many pipe fittings? We need to purchase the pipe fittings. So from how how we can find out? From here you see the different color I mentioned in the different things. For this color. This color, you see oil neck flange is 16 inch 5 numbers. This is oil neck flange. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These 5 flanges are required for, for this particular drawing. So oil neck flange is 16 inches 5 numbers. This is plug valve. You see here the valve is there 21. This is the 21, this is the valve and this is the valve. This is the plug valve. So valve and in other video we will discuss one day that valve, how many types of valve there but particular for this valve is the plug valve from where we can find out the plug valve with on the drawing bill of material plug valve 16 inch 2 numbers so this is the plug valve one is one is here so two numbers elbow 16 inch 90 degree one numbers where is you see here here is the elbow this is the elbow this is the 90 degree elbow is the one number Old OLED, you see here one old OLED and two old OLED. That is the old OLED two inch is a two number. This is the two number one and two. And another is you see here there is a three things three eighteen and six. What is this? One is boss. This is the boss. This is one inch pipeline. This is the plug pipe. Is the one inch and this is the one inch gate valve. So these three things are there: boss, one inch plug pipe, 
and the gate valve one inch. So this is the fittings we required before start of the prefabrication of this particular drawing. Now this is the, how we can measure. You see from here 450 from the flange. You can see here 450 on the middle of the old wallet. Old wallet made the 450, and this is from here to here is the 450. You see here the flange middle, and so this is very easy A example how we can find out the distance from 539 1279 from the middle. Now we see here 4600. How we can find out the this this measurement from FW04 to this one? We can find out the from here elbow from the elbow center to one side. What is the distance is there? And that distance from from here from 4600 to minus this distance, then you can find out this distance from here. From here this distance to this distance so uh, this is very easy and uh, you see here from the very easy how we can find out the measure and in that measure we can we in that measurement we can uh, install we can uh, fabricate the spools and from here you see 446 inch five line it is coming from here and is connecting with here So this is the basic idea from here to here. Now, now we will go the below metal from the one by one. So this is 604L001 scaffold launcher is coming with this one and this is the 16 inch there is a nozzle is there N3, what is 13, what is 17 and what is 25. You see here, quantity, EC units, drawing code, drawing code is the 13. 13 is the flange, that is the old neck flange is 16 inch, definitely that is the old neck flange, okay, that is old neck flange, 13, 17, what is 17, 17 is the gasket, so we need the flange, after flange we need the gasket, so this is the gasket, what, what type of gasket, it's totally, it's details mentioned here, is the 16 inch class 300, spiral on gasket, 316 SS winding, means SS steel SS winding, and flex graphite failure with CS outer ring D16.20. So this is the total description of this gasket. So if you see here 13, 17 and 25. What is 25? You can see here in the next page. You see here 25 is the start bolt. So three things are there. Old neck flange, then gasket, then bolt is there. So these three is continuous. This three is the three is combination is well, neck flange is here, that's why I mentioned 13, 17, and 25. And this is here 9. What is 9? 9 is here mentioned here clearly. Fitting old wallet 2 inch 16 inch run by bar 12. This is the bar 12 A105 MMS CSP 97. So, this is the fitting old wallet description. So, if you see everything 13, 17, 25, 13, 17 is the same thing, is the description is there. Now you see here 21. What is 21? 21 is the you see here 20 is the plug plug valve plug valve. What is 16 inch class 300? Rest force lubricated inverse pressure balance inverted pressure balance venturi pattern 8168 WCB. So this is the valve. So valve description is clearly mentioned here. This is the plug valve 16 inch. Now you can see here, this is the flag valve. So flag valve is finished. 13, 17. I already discussed what is 13. 13 is the old neck plate. 17 is the gasket. Now 11, 15, 13, no, 11. 11, you see here 11. Same here. 11 is the flange. 11 is the old neck flange is 16 inch. RF bore 115 and 1 A7 L3 CL3 class. So this is the class. L3 CL3 A707 the flange class. Now 15 17. What is 15? 15 also same spectacle place is there. So in that case, here you can see there is no spectacle plate here, here in this case. But here you see here the spectacle plate is there. 11, 15, 17. 17 is already is a gasket. Definitely is gasket. Definitely is gasket. So 17 is gasket and 26. 26 it is not mentioned, so 11, 15, and 17 is already equal. 
now now you can see here this is connecting from here this is the elbow 90 degree elbow so this is 0 5 0 5 what is 0 5 this is the elbow 16 inch into 90 degree lr bw 0 0.500 with mms mss sp785 so this is the 16 inch into 90 degree elbow now you can see here or after elbow it is the coming the this is the this is this is 0 3 3 0 3 what is 0 3 it's mentioned here 0 3 0 3 means here if you see 0 3 is the boss holding 1 inch class 3000 this is the boss this is the boss is the 1 inch is the boss and after that there is a pipe what is pipe 18 18 is mentioned in the pipe, 18 is the valve gate, oh this is the, no, this is, uh, pipe is the 25, pipe is the, that is the 1 inch pipe is the, plug pipe is there, that is 06, you see here 06, 06 is the plug pipe 1 inch class 3000, so this is 06 and last one is the, and the last one is the 18, so 18, what is 18? 18 you can see is a valve gate 1 inch so 1 inch gate bar class 800 so from BOM we can easily find out every each and each item what are the actual requirement for this particular drawing this is 20 this is 13 17 already discussed so this is the whole things I think you already got it all this point from how from where you can find out all this uh, fittings and how we can measurement for this from here to here you can easily understand now and another basic things this drawing I this is we prepare for uh, in Aramco drawing actually this is the Aramco drawing and if you cannot see in the Aramco uh, in the consultancy drawing uh, in the consultancy drawing you cannot find out for BOM in the drawing there is a take of material that is, that is called bill of material that is in the separate seat will be there for this one and there is the MR number is there you see the MR number AC units means this material is included in the MR material requisition number one so this is the different system in Aramco that's I actually I work in Aramco before and uh, just that's why I take from there I think this is all from the beginning. This is the basic concept of isometric drawing. Thanks a lot for watching my video and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel to get more interesting topic. Daily we uh, you, from your uh, from your support we can I cannot achieve for this monetization and all these things. I need really need your support continuously to grow my channel. Thank you again.